Welcome back, it's ya boy, and we are uh, fighting a big war. We're actually fighting two different wars against six different nations, and we are fighting on every border except the south one. We're fighting in the east, we're fighting in the north, we're fighting in the west. Yeah, we um, have a lot of things to stay focused on. And uh, hopefully we can do well, so let's roll. We have the mercs coming in. We are bleeding money, so uh, hopefully we can get money while, while doing this uh, in some weird way. <laughs> I kind of can't see that happening, but yeah. We would love to, love to piece these guys out, but we can't because let's see how far away it is. It needs to be past a certain date, uh, unless we are... Uh, Fully uh, occupying them, and uh, it's um, it's uh, these guys. Uh, let's see, these guys. But yeah, we need to wait for about like one and a half more year, a little bit, something like that. But well, Mercs is uh, coming in here. We're going to see a battle, and uh, they have the tactics. We're getting a big penalty here, but we have the numbers and we have the stronger leader. I think we should be safe for now. Even though they, uh, yeah, even though they had uh, the tactics that uh, didn't help them much, did it? But yeah, we are fighting in uh, every direction here. Every way, everywhere. And we're definitely going to take three deals that we get because we are bleeding money. Of course, it's because of the mercs. We might have to let them go soon ish. Make that even afford to let them go. So it's going to cost us 141. I think we actually have to let them go. Is there any way we can make some extra quick bucks here? I mean, we are going to make money when we manage to, to piece people out, but right now we're quite far away from being able to piece people out. So maybe... Just maybe we have to let them go. I think we have to go. But these are so such, such terrible leaders. Like real garbage. And he is a 10, so we really need him. Uh, I think I think we have to let him go for now. Going to disband this unit, and we're just going to trust the numbers then, because we will be at a disadvantage here. Now we are back making money, and of course we are probably going to rehire them soon-ish. But um, now I think that's a wise decision. Let's move you over here. Just be prepared. No, it doesn't look like they are coming south. Maybe one of them are. But wait and see. This siege, if this siege could be done soon, that would be brilliant. I hope it's going to open up for us to reach this part, but we might be blocked off from this fort too. We could be, we'll have to wait and see. Because I would love to piece them all out. Let's see, is there any invention coming in? Well, these ones are not too far away. Maybe we could get something fancy. Let's get over here to prepare for units from the north. 14% here, we would really like to see that one. Uh, we won that siege. I think the we're going to run ASAP. But we'll have to wait and see. If we can catch them, it would be fantastic. But I think not, probably not. 14%, come on, come on, come on, give us something here. 28, yes, moving in the right direction. And uh, yeah, we have the white piece one. That's of course because we have been focusing on, on other nations. But hopefully, they, since we don't occupy things, that's kind of my plan. Because uh, then they're going to think yeah, they are going to be winning and they want pieces. Oh, that's brilliant. We have the siege. That was the question can we get here? I'm fearing that this fortress will prevent it. 
Yeah, it looks like it will stop us. That's um, that's unfortunate. Our siege army is almost uh, ready. I mean, we can send them, send them over here, and then we should probably look to the east here just to try to block things off. Then you could get over here. Let's see. Send you back here. Yeah, we are fighting a lot of wars. But uh, I think like as long as we're not occupying their land, uh, there is a great chance that they will just feel like, yeah, we are winning it, so we're not going to take the white piece. And then all of a sudden we're going to peace out their allies one by one. And then they're going to find themselves uh, very lonely, and then we're going to jump in and hopefully going to be able to take a lot of land before we actually uh, peace us. Um, Peace us out. Let's see. Clan chief, great. We want the clan chief to be doing all the the sieging, and of course, obviously, charming. Because we uh, we don't want to be paying attrition uh, ourselves. Really don't. Let's see if anything changed uh, with uh, with the possibility for uh, for peace. I mean, I, I would like to take this land, but for now we're not going to pick up nine aggressive expansion. We we need some claims before we do. So probably we're just going to take the money and uh, get rid of their alliance. So wait, wait, wait! Are uh, you coming in here? You're at war with us, so somebody's joining from the from the south. I guess we're gonna send you down to we'll take care of it. And another army, damn it! Was hmm, how do we solve this in a good way? I really don't want you to be doing the fighting. I guess we're going to have to wait with that siege. <coughs> Yeah, we want the we want the right type of uh, armies doing the fighting. We see the omen. Let's take a look at our. <laughs> yeah, we're always about to implode, aren't we? It would be nice to pick up the discipline right now. Maybe we should do that. Even the actual uh, the extra commerce would be a good one. Would uh, certainly be. We are making a lot of money from commerce now. I think we want to pick up the discipline just yes, because of. Uh, the wars we're currently fighting, I think it's the right decision. I really do. Warriors honor. So, um, are we okay with them becoming loyal? The extra discipline would be great right now. I think we're gonna go with it. Oh, I guess uh, one of the wars is gone, and that was uh, we were fighting a uh, revolution, and I guess uh, that revolution is over, so that war had disappeared. So I think we're gonna stay there, wait for the other army. This is the army we want to be. It's a four. Ah, oh, that's so bad. So, so bad. Oh, a child is born, and guess what? It is a boy! Fantastic! Fantastic. Let's go south. And you can go here. Now we're gonna scare them all away. And it's a death. So we have an open job here at our government. A 12 from a scorn. F actually, he's sensational. Maybe one 10 for technology. 
a 10 versus a 12. Well, I think we're gonna pick the 12 if we can. And it's gonna score on family too. And then we could give uh, the other dude who lost his job. He could uh, could get uh, this one. I think. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. I guess we're gonna send you north because that army might go for our siege army. We're just going to keep one guy down here, keeping track of everything. Is there any way you you could? Oh my god, you go all the way back here to not take attrition. Anywhere you could be, you know, decently. I guess you'll have to stand there, chilling, relaxing, while we uh, take care of this. Now, could we catch him? The jello ones, it's not sure, but they are quicker. If we go here, will he still go yet? Nope, he stopped. He stopped. I mean, I can do this all day if you want to dance. If you want to dance, then we go for this guy instead, see if we can catch him. Catch him if we can. Let's see, is there any of these guys we could piece out? Nope, we are getting closer. We are uh, really close actually, really, really, really close. I think we can piece them out now, can't we? Yes, and now we want all your money. We like money. And now... Anything else? Could have them become our subject. That would actually be really good. But considering that we're going to take a big chunk of land in the in the north, I think we should just chill a bit with uh, with aggressive expansion for now. Because we all remember how our nation imploded before. That wasn't um, wasn't a great great thing. We're just going to take all the money. We're going to come back for the land later on. The money, thank you. Now, of course, we're going to be black flag here, so let's go to the north. So, where does this land belong? Well, what nation is this? It's a revolt. Okay, I see. I see. And... Yeah, we're still at war with these guys. We're definitely never going to be able to piece them out. Yeah, we are looking at the... We uh, definitely could consider taking them, because we have... We have land, let's, like, this is part of our, our province, so I could probably fully occupy them. And I would actually be very happy to do that, considering uh, not too bad with aggressive expansion. Then finally we have uh, these guys, and these guys are, no wait, these guys, ah, I'm messing them up, I'm mixing them up. Um, probably not going to take anything from them. I think we're going to take this. This will be the peace deal. I think that's a good choice. Maybe even a great choice. If we manage to get that before some truth uh, peace uh, deal happens. Oh no, it's a scandal! My gosh, what have happened here? So, uh, yeah. Scandal is unfortunately a part of an average day in... Uh, the Boyic clan council. Ordinary, we would simply ignore such petty squabbles. However, on this occasion, the 
esteemed Tenkomadrius Lucas was found in uh, flagrant delight. Okay, sorry, I'm butchering these ones, but fla uh, flagrant uh, delicto with his lover, Crocia Dumnia, by his spouse. So he's basically been screwing around then. And uh, none of our business. Um, loses his position in the government. I probably don't want that to happen. No flog, I mean. Flogging is not too bad. You, you, you know what I think about flogging? You know, you know I've, I've said it before, but you get flogged, and you get flogged, and everyone gets flogged. So yeah, I think we have the solution here. You're just gonna have him flogged. Let, let's pick this one up. So there's uh, two things that can happen. There's 75% that he loses 10 loyalty, and that's okay, because he has a lot of loyalty. And then it's 25% that he uh, gains uh, wounded. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I lost some loyalty. I think that was a good choice. You know, um, I have an uh, advice here, dear viewers. Whenever in doubt, flogging is always the answer. You can't get now you have too much flogging, can you? Everybody likes a good flogging. Everybody. Get to you, I would like, need to get like a military access through so many nations. Like, can I even... No, like nobody would like. These will give it, but not those. Not those, so yeah, we can probably forget about uh, getting over there. Probably, unless these guys get knocked out and these takes it back, then we could get access all the way over there. Oh, he won. He won. It was an uncertain value. It was yellow, but he won. And that's good news to us. So it would be fantastic if we could get this siege. Of course, this siege. Every siege is a siege we need. We need to win. Oh, wait, wait. Now, now they're coming here. That is a enemy army getting closer. And then maybe they started to run because they actually disappeared. They siege down one province and then they are gone. And of course, this one could happen at any time now. So, uh, but I think like as long as we have them in the driver's seat, they are thinking they are winning. I think that's exactly what we need because I don't believe they're going to take a white piece as soon as they think they can actually stand a chance in this war. I think that's going to be the way we have to roll. Oh, they are coming in, so we need to send in uh, the uh, backup. Let's send these guys to just in case something gets nasty. Let's see. Oh, we managed to get the siege. This is fantastic because this means now they are going to come in, and in, uh, in, um, we're going to have the defensive terrain. That is really, really good, because we have a weak army here, a much larger coming in, and I'm doing this slowly, so we can actually uh, pause it ASAP. Look at this, it's a huge army. Wait. Wait. What's up with that? Did our friends arrive? It looks like our friends, so oh, I almost completely missed it. Um, yeah, then we should be be really safe. Uh, yeah, fantastic. So you can go sieging then. Why can't you go there? Oh, we are not at war. I thought this was the same nation. The colors are so similar. I really thought this was the same nation. So we are not at war with you then. Look at these colors! They are so similar! They are like basically copies of each other. But this means we could probably piece out um, these guys, Salastias. So let's see if uh, we are allowed to do that. We want all your money. Wait, let's see. Do they have. No, they don't have any land that we. Uh... 
Nope. So, Salicia, all your money belongs to us. Anything else? Well, I think we are happy with that. <laughs> Too bad you're so poor. But that means, look at this. Now, now they have the advantage. They think they have the advantage because they have the war score. Clearly, they don't have the advantage. We are much, much stronger than them now. But this is good because we don't want... Actually, they, he might go for Siege, so we want to run in here to scare him back. Uh, but now, there's three guys left. And one of them are these guys that we probably never can get to. Wait, wait what? This revolt is growing. They were one city and these guys were the rest of the land. I thought they were going to win this one with ease, but... Uh, clearly not. But it doesn't matter, uh, we are going to siege on this land, I'm going to take it all because it's part of our promise, it definitely rightfully belongs to us. And then we're going to take all the land we can in the north, because the north the north is the real target, because this is where we have a Bohanium land that we need for the achievement. So I think this is a good situation we're in right now. So we're going to send you... I'm just like betting now that they like something bad happens. We're going to send you for this siege. Oh my god, we're going to run all through the world. Let's, let's run over here then. And then you get to the north. And uh, you is the general. We definitely don't want to bleed you dry. You're going to go here for now. I think this is a good situation. Uh, they are running. Could we maybe catch them? Probably not. I would bet we can't, but we, we all seem to try. How are we doing with the culture conversion? Yeah, we see some green here. At least some. Going in the right direction. And we are working on it everywhere. Everywhere that counts. So we're not working on it here. I think we would like to. We are going to pay. No, not changing the governor around. We're going to pay for the culture assimilation. Fantastic. I mean, we're not too far away from being able to start a religious conversation over here. Not conversation, but uh, conversion. But yeah, I think uh, we managed to piece out to our opponents. We uh, are turning the tide. Yes, we are. wait. Another war? Another revolt? We are once again fighting a revolt? God damn it! Where are all these revolts coming from? This is the second revolt we got into a war. Ooh, wait. Wait. Oh, it's... So this revolt is a one promise minor, uh, but they, it's a revolt against the nation we are attacking. Okay, interesting. Do they have any friends? Oh, oh they, they don't have any friends. They are... They have a subject? What? These huge guys are a subject of these tiny ones, so this could be... I'm not sure if it's good or bad news for us, but we want it all, so we'll have to wait to see what happens there. But yeah, we have managed to piece out two of our opponents, and <laughs> we got ourselves... Uh, a good situation. Don't don't mind the war score. This is not saying the truth. We are, we are winning this war right now. And then this happened. An, an extra bonus war. I mean, because two wars is twice as fun as just one. So, yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.